It's time for a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Welcome to Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotsi, founder of the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. And if you have not downloaded our podcast, we have some great ones. We've got some new ones on tap as well. So go to Hotze podcast.com that's h-o-t-z-e podcast.com now today gosh we get a lot of questions dr hoodsy on this it's about hormone therapy what's the best delivery option is it pellets is it creams is it pills pellets seem to be popular but really is that the safest best alternative thank you so much stacy and thank each one of you for joining us today on dr hoodsy's wellness revolution Today we're going to discuss the different ways that a person can receive bioidentical hormone therapy. And we're going to be discussing this with Kim Bennett, who is our pharmacist in charge at Hotsi Pharmacy. I want to remind you what we believe. I believe that you and every individual needs a doctor and a staff of professionals who have the ability, the know-how, to coach you onto a path of health and wellness naturally so as you mature, you enjoy a better quality of life without using pharmaceutical drugs. One of our most important methods and treatment options to help you obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally is the use of biologically identical hormones, and which are known as bioidentical hormones. That means the hormones that are prescribed here at the Hosea Health and Wellness Center and are prepared in Hosea Pharmacy are molecularly identical to the hormones that your body used to make in adequate amounts when you were younger, particularly the hormones that we use here in females are progesterone and estrogen hormones, a combination of estriol and estradiol. We also use testosterone in women, smaller doses, but of course in males we use testosterone. We use cortisol, which supports the adrenal gland. We also use pregnenolone, which is a building block hormone of the adrenal gland, and DHEA, which is another adrenal hormone. These are the hormones that we use. We also use natural desiccated thyroid hormone. And uh, let's Kim, talk about the different methods that are used around the country to deliver the hormones to individuals. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Hoodsey. There are several different methods to deliver bioidentical hormones. There are capsules. Uh, there are creams. That's topical creams. Also, there are, there are vaginal creams available. And there's sublingual tablet form. There's also a trochee available. Um, and some of our guests may have heard of pellet therapy. I know that's pretty popular out there now. Um, I like to call that um, a fad, if you will. Right. And also, some people can use, there are some people use suppositories. At the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center, our doctors, our physicians, our providers have historically used primarily uh, slow release capsules. Right. We use capsules for all the hormones. We also use creams in some patients. Mm-hmm. And it may be an individual has some gastrointestinal problems and isn't able to properly absorb their uh, their hormones. Uh, at the time, we'll use creams, but creams are a little bit messy. Right. And, and, Not as convenient. Right. And, and uh, talk about some of the, I mean, we have used creams and used them effectively in right. people. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people just don't like putting the cream, having to put the slather of the cream on. It's just a whole lot easier to take a capsule. Right. We do use some sublingual uh, therapy if, mm-hmm. if a patient requests that. But what we've heard uh, and see in our practice is individuals that have come to see us because they tried the latest fad, which is? Pellet therapy. Pellet therapy. So mm-hmm. describe to us what pellet therapy is for hormones and, and what its benefits might be and what, what would be its, uh, what would be detrimental about using it. Okay. So what I've heard about pellet therapy is they place the hormones in a small cylinder that's about uh, probably a a little bit smaller than a grain of rice, and it gets inserted into the abdomen or the buttocks, kind of the top of the hip area. 
Um, and it depends on the dosing that is used. They could have insertions of one to three to four to five pellets at a time inserted. Um, estrogens are inside of these pellets as well as testosterone. So they, they only use estradiol. They don't use estriol and estradiol. So they only use estrogen hormones, estradiol, and they only use testosterone. testosterone. Mm -hmm. And because they're placed in there for three to six months, they've got to have a very high dose to last that long because it's slowly dissolved in the in the subcutaneous tissue. Right. It is exactly slowly dissolved. And once it's in, it cannot be taken out. So that's a problem we've seen. We've had some guests that have come to us that have had pellets inserted um, that have had extreme side effects after the insertion of a pellet. Um, we had one gentleman that came in one time that had to take a leave of absence from work because he was so irritable um, and just could not function properly after the insertion of the pellet because it was such a high dose. What we do here with our hormones is we balance the natural, it's called a physiologic or natural balance of the hormones. And what Dr. Hotze mentioned in the beginning was it brings your body back to where it, uh, it restores your levels back to where they were when you were younger. What the pellet therapy does is it's what's called supra-physiologic dosing. Which means a very large dose. Right. Very high dosing, and which leads to very severe side effects. In addition to what I talked about with the gentleman, I've also heard of women experiencing facial hair growth to the point where they've actually had to start shaving their face, uh, male pattern baldness, chest hair growth, uh, things of that nature. Things that side effects that Nobody most would women would well, want. Why, why would right. we want to do that? So that's the reason we began using capsules with slow release formula. So you take your hormones twice a day. They don't use progesterone pellets because it's too quickly dissolved right. for some reason. I don't know why it would be any different than estradiol or testosterone. But the problem is, is when you take a pellet, you've got it and you can't get it out. Right. It's there, whether you're having side effects or not, it just stays there and, sl and, and is dissolved sometimes. And some people may be faster than others. That's why you could get these high doses and they have to give you high doses in the pellets because it's supposed to last three to six months. Mm -hmm. That gives you no way to adjust the hormone. I always like to give hormones in doses that help individuals balance out and replenish their hormones. So the side effects. Now let's talk about the side effects that people have when their hormones decline. In females, women get premenstrual tension and syndrome, and that could be mood swings, uh, weight gain, breast tenderness. breast tenderness, migraine headaches, moodiness, loss of romantic moods and inclinations. That's very common, and that can happen one to two days prior to a woman's normal menstrual period, or it could happen a week or two weeks. It, it can get worse and worse, and that's due to a decline in natural progesterone. A woman becomes estrogen dominant, and I talk about this in my book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. We talk about estrogen dominance. And we have too much estrogen that adversely affects the way women feel when you don't have the balance of progesterone because it's the proliferative hormone. So inevitably, when women get estrogen dominance, not only do they get more severe premenstrual symptoms, but they also get dysfunctional uterine bleeding. They get heavier menstrual periods, and then they get breakthrough bleeding. So the periods maybe three to five days when they were younger, then they're five to seven days, seven to nine days. Then they get breakthrough bleeding, and then they go to the doctor and they got fibroids. This is all caused by estrogen dominance. That's why women need, starting in midlife, as soon as you start having symptoms, you should begin to take natural progesterone, day 15 through 28. And this goes back to beginning at puberty. Some young girls come in and they're they're, you know, once they hit puberty, they just have all kinds of problems, emotional problems, they have health problems, and it's all due to an imbalance in their hormones. And we can give just a little bit of progesterone mm -hmm. to women that are young girls and teenagers rather than giving them birth control pills, mm -hmm. which are counterfeit hormones, we'll give natural progesterone, and that balances things out very, very nicely and prevents them from having to go on lots of other drugs. Because once you start on the birth control pills, those are counterfeit hormones. You don't make progesterone. That is attended by estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance adversely affects a woman's thyroid assimilation, utilization. And thyroid governs a woman's and man's 
energy production. So if you don't have enough thyroid in your cells, no matter how much you have in your blood, then you've got a problem. And estrogen dominance causes the liver to produce high levels of thyroid binding globulin, which bind the thyroid hormone. You can't get it in the cells. You may have it in the blood, but it doesn't get in the cells in the active form. So you have low energy production. You've got low energy. You've got low metabolism, difficulty with weight, don't sleep well, can't think clearly, have mood swings, depression, irregular menstrual cycle, joint muscle aches and pains, maybe your bowels don't function well, maybe you got too loose or maybe they're constipated, you get recurrent and chronic infections, and just feel unhealthy at a young age. And, and that's due to a decline in your natural occurring hormones, which occurs as a woman marches through her menstrual life, the hormones are going to decline. They peak in the early 20s and then they'll decline. And there's plenty of hormone disruptors that we have in our, in, uh, in our lives that disrupt this. And they're petrochemical products and what we breathe in the air, the food we eat, what we drink, and in the lotions you slather on their body, full of petrochemicals, which disrupt the normal production of your hormones. So that's why it's all the more important to supplement and replenish your hormones. As a woman goes through the change of life, she'll need some estrogen because when you have estrogen, uh, decline, uh, what happens? You end up get hot flashes and you get night sweats, you get mood swings and vaginal dryness and a host of other problems that afflict a woman as she loses her natural estrogen. So you have to balance these out. Men have the same problem as they lose their testosterone, which decline. They peak in their 20s and then they decline. So by the time they're 40, it's about it's about two-thirds to one-half what it was in the early 20s. By the time they're 50, it's about a third by the time they're 60 it's a fourth of what they used to make. And testosterone has a positive effect on helping with initiative, assertiveness, sense of well-being, self-confidence, mood, goal orientation, drive directiveness, decisiveness, and analytical ability. Those are all brain functions. Remember, the hormones affect your brain's neurotransmitters so you can think right and you can feel good. And testosterone, of course, governs male pattern behavior. And as men lose their testosterone, well, they lose their their attentiveness, their decisiveness, their goal orientation, their drive, their directive, their muscle mass shrinks. They get cardiovascular problems. They have romantic moods and inclinations that have dramatically declined and their abilities have declined. They become impotent. So it's a host of problems. So the, that's the reason we supplement with bioidentical hormones. And we have found here at the Hotel Health and Wellness Center, after treating over 31,000 people since 1989, uh, most of whom are adults, we have found that when you replenish and balance your hormones, naturally you can have a tremendous improvement in your overall health and sense of well-being, and many of the symptoms that you've had will resolve. We found the best way to treat is using capsules by mouth, orally, uh, creams when indicated, when needed. That's, the, that's what we do. And in testosterone, we also use capsules, creams. We also use injectable testosterone in males, and that can be very helpful mm-hmm. as well. So that's what we use. But we have found in individuals that have come and sought us after seeking pellet therapy that, that they had problems on pellet therapy. Uh, and that doesn't mean everybody has problems on pellet therapy, but there's absolutely no way you can balance the hormones. Once you put a pellet in, you're stuck with that mm-hmm. dose, whether it's too low or too high, and you can't adjust it. Whereas when you're taking your oral on a daily basis and as you walk through your life, your hormone need to be adjusted over time, we can do that very simply and orally or using a cream, but primarily orally. And uh, that is the simplest, safest way to do it mm-hmm. without having to worry about um, effects of high, high doses and the adverse effects you can have with that. Or going under even local anesthesia and having scars and having the pellets pop out and, right. you know, things like that. So we recommend uh, using capsules for hormones and secondarily creams. And in males, uh, if you like to, you can use injectable therapy as well. So that's the story about bioidentical hormones and the different methods that are used to get these hormones into patients. We think capsules and creams are absolutely the best. And injectables for testosterone can be very helpful. So thank you for joining us today. We look forward to um, having you back with us on our next podcast. Let me mention to you, you can go to 
hochchwc.com to our symptom checker and see if you have any problems. And if you do, don't hesitate to give us a call at 281-698-8698 and visit with one of our um, new guest consultants. And we'll be glad to help you do a 180 and take charge of your health. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.